Emma from Kids Craft Room here. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, we're making these fun puffer fish. Um, I've made them with two different contrasting colours, but if you prefer, you can just do the whole thing in one colour. Um, I've also put a little string onto the top so that we can hang them up, but again, you could just mount them on a piece of paper or um, you know, a piece of card. You don't have to have them with the string if you don't want to. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make them. They're really easy and they're lots of fun. So I'm going to shove those out the way and you need two contrasting colours of paper. Um, and the easiest way to fold a fan so that you get nice even folds is to give yourself a bit of a marker first. So I'm going to fold it in half, fold it in half again. Oh, did you hear that? That's my little kitten. <laughs> well, one of my little kittens. Fold it in half again and then fold it in half again. Now this won't give you your fan but it gives you markers for folding your fan. So then you can open it up again. It doesn't have to be too exact, but it does help keep them a bit more even. And then you can fold backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Sorry, it's a bit dull watching me do this. Uh, backwards, forwards, until you've got your fan shape. And then you just keep going all the way to the end, which I will fast forward. <laughs> So I've made our two fans and now we want to join them together. So I'm going to glue down one edge and then line the other fan up and glue that on. Oh, do you know, I keep finding these bits of kitten hair. <laughs> so we'll glue those two pieces together like so. And then we've got one great big long fan, like so. And now our two fans are joined together to make one long fan. We want to be able to turn it into a circle. So squeeze them all together and just roughly fold it in half to give you an idea of where the middle is. Give that a squeeze. So I can see the middle's roughly about there. Take a piece of string or yarn and just tie a little loop around. With that I'm going to go over onto the other side as well just to make it a little bit more secure. Oopsie. Okay. And I'll do a double knot so it doesn't undo. See, I'm sorry about all the buzz, 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 buzzing. Um, it's really, really hot here, and I've opened the back door, but um, obviously flies keep coming in. And we live in the countryside as well, and there's lots of pigs and cows and sheep and things around. Uh, so I think, oh look, I didn't tie that tight enough, did I? Let's do that again. So anyway, as I was saying, we've got lots of farm animals around, which is lovely, but in the summer, it does mean that we do have quite a lot of flies as well. So, Tie that one again. I think what that was was that I cut the um, the string just too close to the knot, so when there was a little bit of tension on it, the uh, the knot was able to undo. So I'm going to just leave a slightly longer snip. Okay. So now we've got what looks a bit like a butterfly, like that. Okay, so we've got a butterfly and to make it into a circle I'm going to glue whoopsie, all along one edge and sort of pull them together to open up the fan and stick them together. Uh, like that. That's it, nice and easy. And then we do the same on the other side. This side's a bit trickier because you can't sort of put the fan, the back of the fan flat on the table because there's now an arch shape there. So you have to sort of hold it up. But the principle is the same. Oops. Pull the two sides together, give them a squeeze, and then we've got our round shape. So we've got the round body for our pufferfish, but it's going to need two little uh, fins on either side. 
So to make the little fins, I've got um, an A4 sheet of paper, or if you're in the US, it would be letter size, I think. Just cut it in half, so half the size that we use to actually make the, the body pieces. And I want to make the little fan again, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing to help me. Um, I'm going to fold it in half, fold it in half again, fold it in half again, squeeze down to make those creases, fold it in half again. So I've got the creases to show me where to make my fan. Open it up, and then exactly like we did before, fold it over and over, from one side to the other, along those creases. I'm going as quick as I can for you. You could take a bit more time, aren't you? Although it doesn't matter, as I say, if it's not too even. It's just to give a rough, idea of where the lines need to go. Okay, nearly at the end, nearly at the end. There we go. So, got a little fan now and I want to uh, cut it in half, roughly. There we go. And that's going to make a fin for the puffer fish. So to hold it together, you could staple it, but it's a bit thick. I find the easiest thing is just to wrap a little bit of sticky tape around it, like so, and then just trim off the edge. And that holds it together quite nicely. You can open it up and you have a little fin. So now I've made my two little fin, uh, or fan fins, fin fans, and I want to to put them onto the back of the puffer fish. So um, I'm going to count one, two, three dips along in that upper colour and that's where I'm going to tape the fan. Just, it doesn't have to be three dips, you could do four, five, six dips along. Um, I just think three looks about right. And I'm just going to tape across and then tuck that tape down on either side and that holds it in. I can do the same on the other side, so three dips, one, two, three, pop it in and stick a bit of tape over the top. Dun, dun, dun. Flip it over, and there it is. Uh, so now our puff fish is going to need some eyes and a mouth. So to do that, I'm going to cut um, some circles out of white. I've actually used a light cardstock here, but you could, um, you could just use paper if you prefer. Um, I've got, uh, sorry, this is a, um, a little punch press to cut my circles with. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Um, let's see. Oh, it's a Martha Stewart. Uh, I think it was called an all over the page punch um, because you can, you know, I could cut a punch from the middle. I, I don't need to just do it around the edge. Now I want three of those, two for the eyes and one for the mouth. Um, don't worry if you haven't got one of those presses, you can just cut a circle um, by hand or draw around perhaps a bottle top or something like that. So I've got three little white circles and then I want coloured circles for the middle of the eyes. And I'm going to do these with a slightly smaller um, punch for the middle of the eyes. So get my glue. See, let's glue those on there and there, and then colour in a little pupil. There we go, one and the other one. There we go, so we've got our two eyes, and then to make the mouth, I just uh, from the circle, just cut out a little crescent shape. And there we go. To make a happy smile. Okay. We've got a little eyes. Put some glue on the back. And pop those into place. And then the same with the smile. Yes, I'm ready to swim away now. Swim, swim, swim. So your puffer fish is done. Um, if you want to hang it up, then just make a, a loop of yarn and just tape it onto the back. Or you can just leave your puffer fish as it is, or 
stick it onto um, a piece of card mounted on the wall. I quite like uh, having it on a string and then we can hang it up and then they, they spin um, in the wind, which is quite sweet. So there we go, you can make a whole little uh, hoard of, of puffer fish. Would it be a school of fish? Puffer fish? I don't know, perhaps a puff of puffer fish. <laughs> There we go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that craft. Don't forget to subscribe on the button uh, below and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.